Welcome back to Let's Try to Play. Today we're going to be playing some Clock Clicker. That's right, we're messing with time. And the way this one works is, just like any other clicker game, you click on the clock, which makes your seconds go up, and that gives you time bucks. First upgrade cost 100 time bucks, so we're going to go ahead and buy that right now, which gave us two time bucks per second. We also have this bar at the bottom that goes up as I click. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but it's almost complete, so I guess we'll see here in a second. A couple more clicks, and there we go. Oh, and that gives us a little upgrade for these things. And on the right, we have these upgrades. We have increased our click power, increase our clock speed, or 15% more time bucks from the bubble bonus. And with our 2300 time bucks, we are of course going to increase our click power a few times, and we might as well increase our clock speed. I'm not sure what that does exactly, but there we go, it's done. And we can buy the hourglass, which gives us 10 time bucks per second, so we've bought that. And you know, in classic let's try to play fashion, we gotta bring in our trusty auto clicker here. I don't want to be clicking on this manually, so let's go ahead and activate our auto clicker, and look at how fast we're going up now. And we've got an upgrade, so let's collect all of those. So we can increase our click power once again, and we can buy a couple more hourglasses, and we might as well buy some more sundials, why not? And now our click power is a total of 16, and we're getting 37 time bucks per second. Next upgrade is $10,000, which our click power is a little bit cheaper than that, so we're going to do click power first, and then we'll buy the water clock. And there we go, we can afford our click power, so we're going to buy that. So now our click power is 32, so we just got to wait a minute to get the $10,000 to unlock the water clock, which about two seconds later we can afford, so let's go ahead and buy that, bringing our total per second up to 100 158. The next click power upgrade costs 46,000, which is pretty expensive, but we're already halfway there, so we might as well save up for it. And then after we save up for that, I'm going to save up for the fire clock, which costs 75,000, but it gives us a thousand per second. Just a thousand more to go before we can unlock our next clicker upgrade, and there it is. Let's unlock that, grab these guys, and now we got our click power of 64. So I just bought the 15% more time bucks from the bubble bonus, and I'm not sure if upgrading the clock speed is really worth it. I'm not sure what that does. The next bubble bonus, though, cost 1 million. And we just officially went over one day on our clock. Not sure exactly what that does, but we've got some skins up here, so let's take a look at that. We got the classic, we got this one, and we've got to watch ads for these ones. So, ooh, actually we can select this one. I like that one. We're gonna go ahead and stick with this one for right now. We're at $60,000. We need 75,000 for that fire clock, so we're just quite there. After we unlock the fire clock, which we can actually do right now, let's buy that, get all these bonuses. Let's upgrade our clock speed. We have 18,000, we can upgrade it twice. But we are making 1,158 per second now, and we can upgrade our clock speed again. And up here, we can actually prestige. So at seven days, we can prestige and get a 2x bonus. So as soon as we get to seven days, we are prestiging, and we're just gonna see how far we can get. But for now, let's go ahead and buy another fire clock, and we might as well just auto-click all of of these things as well. Grab our bubble bonuses, which are now worth just under $3,000. And next upgrade that I want to do is the click power again, but that's at 234,000, so we're about halfway there. So it's going to take us a minute to get there, but after we do get there, I think think it'll be worth it to get the metronome because that's 5,000 per second the fire clock I haven't done the math I don't know you all let me know in the comments I'm not doing the math if it's worth it for the fire clock or the metronome but we can buy our click power again so there's that now we get 128 per click and now we just save up for that sweet metronome it's about 5,000 more to go and there we go we can afford it so let's by that, bringing us up to 7,300 per second. And we're at just under four days. We got about three days left before we can prestige and get that nice 2x bonus. But for now, we're just going to keep collecting these, buying more metronomes, collecting more bubble bonuses, and buying more metronomes. So after buying a couple metronomes, we're at 22,000 per second, and we can actually increase our clock speed again. So I will do that after I click these, which are now worth 28,000. Let's go ahead and increase our clock speed by 50% again. And now the next upgrade for that is a million. Stuff's starting to get expensive real quick, but we can buy another metronome. Now I think we either wait off till day seven or we buy the round wall clock, uh, whichever one comes first. Actually, the round wall clock came first. Let's go ahead and buy that right now. And now we're at 37,000 per second, which means we're going to be able to buy our clock power upgrade once again in just a second and there it is we'll go ahead and buy that collect all these things and that brings our click power up to 256 per click and we're just a few hours away from day seven and being able to prestige so we'll buy the round wall clock again and we'll just click on this guy until we hit day seven and there it is day seven we're gonna go reset for that 2x bonus and one quick ad later we are back on the grind we'll buy a couple sundials so why not we'll open up this thing and we'll increase our click power a couple times now our click power is four so the 2x doesn't affect our click power only our per second upgrades you know what that's still a lot better than what it was so we're gonna go ahead and just buy as many upgrades as we can and i guess we're gonna have to focus on our per second upgrades instead of our click power upgrades so let's go ahead and buy a water clock a couple times hourglass sundials everything we can 
We'll go ahead and buy a fire clock because we can afford that now. And we might as well upgrade our click power just because it's cheap and our clock speed. And what is the next prestige at? I'll check that after I grab these. Next prestige is at 350 days. Why didn't they just make it an even year? I don't know, but we're going to save up for a metronome to get that 25,000 time bucks per second. And there we go. We can afford it. So now we're at 27,000 per second. We'll upgrade our clock speed again. Might as well upgrade our click power again. And then we can buy another round wall clock and another one. Upgrade our clock speed again. Bring us up to 150. 2,000 per second. And we're not even on day two yet. We're still on day one. But with our $6 million, we can buy the alarm clock. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Actually, we can buy it twice. And we can increase our click power and our clock speed. So let's buy a couple more alarm clocks and click on this guy. Get those bonuses. Next upgrade is the square wall clock, which costs $40 million, which is pretty expensive. But we're going up decently quick. And each one of these bubbles is now worth three quarters of a million, basically $750,000. And there's our $40 million, So we can buy this for $1.5 million per second. Bringing us up to who knows? I can't even see per second. And let's increase our click power a couple times again, bringing us up to 1,024 per click, which doesn't really mean anything at this point. Our clicks do basically nothing compared to whatever our per second speed is, which honestly, I have no idea. But these bubbles are now worth 7.9 million. And the next upgrade is the timer costing 500 million. We're about halfway there. And with these bubbles it goes by pretty quick so we're gonna save up for that just one more bubble and we'll be good there's the bubble event and we can afford it so let's buy that an extra 50 million per second and these bubbles are now worth 167 million which we can actually upgrade right now and upgrade our clock speed a couple times and upgrade our click power a couple times bring our click power up to 4096 and let's buy a couple more timers and let's buy the wristwatch for 8 billion Oh, we're going up money quick though. We're only on day 19, but wristwatch for 8 billion, we'll buy that. And that added 750 million time bucks per second. So let's upgrade our clock speed again, twice, ooh. And now we can buy the cuckoo clock, which costs 40 billion and gives us 4 billion time bucks per second. So don't mind if I do. Upgrade our click power a few times. And we are going up days really quick now. But let's upgrade our clock speed a couple more times and let's see how fast we're going up now. Yeah, it's like, it's about five days per second right now. So we'll hit day 350 really quick. The next upgrade though, after the cuckoo clock is the five fireplace clock and that costs 1.5 quadrillion so we're gonna have a long ways to go before we hit that we're not even in the trillions yet so we'll just buy a bunch more cuckoo clocks and we can see our per second again we're at 45.8 billion per second which we actually unlocked the uh fireplace clock a lot faster than i thought so let's just buy a bunch of those bring us up to 365 billion per second and let's do our clock speed a bunch now just auto click that auto click our click power auto click our bonuses auto click the fireplace and now we make 131,000 per click and we only have like 50 more days to go which while clicking is pretty much instant we're already at day 412 so let's go ahead and prestige oh once again so if prestiging does affect our click power it just doesn't show here so here it's saying i'm getting plus one but i am getting plus four every time i click so it just wasn't very accurate which means this is going to be a lot better than i originally thought so let's auto click that auto click our clock speed and auto click that so even though we have a lot more money we have to buy this upgrade first which kind of sucks so let's just go ahead and buy all those buy the metronome and what is the next prestige next prestige is at 17,500 days that's that's not terrible. We could probably do that pretty quick, but we can already afford the alarm clock. So we'll buy as many of those as we can. I don't want to upgrade our clock speed anymore for now. Let's buy some square wall clocks really quick. But what I want to do is just upgrade my click power and the bonus and all of these things as many times as I can until we get to like, let's say a hundred quadrillion, maybe a little bit more than a hundred quadrillion. And then we'll put all of our money into clock speed and just see how fast we go up days. But for now we can buy the timer and the wristwatch and the cuckoo clock. And pretty soon we'll be able to buy the fireplace clock. There it is. Let's buy that. We'll buy increase our click power a few times and might as well increase that bonus as well. And we can buy the pocket watch for 3.6 quadrillion per second we are already at day f basically 400 and i haven't increased our clock speed since we did it the first like two times i think and our click power is over a million and with how fast we're going up days just by clicking like look at this look how fast we're going up days now so now i'm gonna put all of my money into clock speed and let's just see how fast we go up days now oh yeah that's insane but we'll buy some more pocket watches we'll click on this thing and now we can afford the long case clock which gives us 96 q so let's buy that a couple times actually might as well increase our clock speed a couple times and buy some more long case clocks and I think we're gonna prestige before we get to the street clock because we're already at a day 11,000 and we only need to be at day 17,000 if I remember correctly which actually we can afford it now so let's go ahead and buy it but day 17,000 is coming up 
quick. One more thousand to go, and there it is. We can officially prestige again. So now with no upgrades, we make eight per click, which is insane, but let's go ahead and increase that. We're at 71 click, it brings us up to 102, so we make 32 per click now, when it's only saying we make four. Let's increase that a few more times. All right, we're at $100,000 and we have not bought a single upgrade. All right, so we're at $100,000 and we have not bought a single per second upgrade. So let's go ahead and just come through here and buy every single one that we can. We can buy a couple of those now and we can buy that and that. Click a few times, buy the round wall clock, click a few more times, buy the alarm clock, click a few more times, buy the square wall clock. And now we can buy the timer as well. We'd actually buy quite a few of those and oh, I'm missing all these upgrades, whatever. Let's increase our click power a few more times. So let's buy some wristwatches. Let's buy some cuckoo clocks, some fireplace clocks, grab all these things. Might as well buy a pocket watch along case clock. Actually, we can buy quite a lot of those. Some street clocks, why not? Let's buy all of them. Next one is Big Ben, which we can already afford, which gives us 5 S per second. So we just bought a bunch of those and now we're at 1.4 S per second. So we're doing pretty good on that. We're only on day five. We already have 70, 100, basically 100 cent sextillion septillion i don't know but we have a lot of money now let's put all of that into our click power now each click is 268.4 million times eight because we have that nice 8x bonus but now we can actually afford the digital watch which gives us 8s per second so we bought one of those and another one we're already on day 24,000. i didn't even check to see what day we need to be at to prestige again so let's check 875,000. okay how long is that going to take if we just click so i'm just going to upgrade our click power and our clock speed a few times and our bonus. And then we're at day 46,000 and I'm just gonna click and we'll see how long it takes us to get up to that 850,000 mark. It is not taking very long. We already passed it. Okay, well, let's do it again. All right, so now we should have a click power of 16. We do right off the bat. So let's just go ahead and increase our click power a few times. So yeah, we went up really quick. So let's actually take a look and see what it is now. It is whatever that number is, 40, 43, million i'm not sure exactly but for now we're just gonna increase our click power and our clock speed not even worry about the per second upgrades because they don't mean anything to us yet because look at how fast we're going up without them this is just on click power alone but we'll buy click power one more time and then we'll get up to i'll say 500,000 before we go ahead and buy the upgrades on the left there we go 500,000. so let's just go through this list and buy every single one that we can and we can already afford the alarm clock the square wall clock the timer the wristwatch the cuckoo clock the fireplace clock the pocket watch the long case clock and the street clock big ben's gonna take a couple seconds and there it is we can buy it actually we can buy as pretty much as many as we want and we're still only on day one but we just bought the smartphone which gives us 600 s per second so i just want to see how far we can get before we even go past day one and we can afford the fitness bracelet now which gives us 5 s per second and the next one is the smartwatch which gives us 12 s per second we're still on hour 15 not even past day one yet and we have so much money you know what let's put all of that into our click power. Let's just auto click that. I am scared to click this because I think it's gonna go to like day 1000 right off the bat. So it looks like unless I wanna just sit here and wait, the fitness bracelet is as far as we can get without clicking. I'm just gonna put all of our money into clock speed and now we click. Oh my God, look how fast that thing is going up now. I don't know if we passed what we needed to or not, but if we didn't, that's still insane. We're going to at any second now but we can actually buy the smartwatch for 300 300 what i don't know but just 300 so we're gonna buy as many of those as we can can we prestige again i'm gonna try it we could prestige again which means our click power is now gonna be 32 which is pretty insane which means every time we upgrade something that upgrade is timed by 32 what's the next prestige whatever that number is i don't even know here's the plan i'm gonna try to prestige one more time which should not take very long at all and after i do that prestige i'm going to try to prestige again without buying any of these upgrades and only buying the per second upgrades so i guess i'll see you when i can prestige on this one again all right, so i'm just over one day into this and i have 1.6 n so let's go ahead and spend all of our money on the clock speed and now every time we click it's just gonna it's it's just gonna go up i think actually we might have to upgrade our click power as well but it's still pretty like it's going up fast but it's going up a lot slower than i'd be expecting so i'm just gonna try upgrading my click power a bunch of times and see if yep nope that changes everything we are going up so much faster now which unfortunately means prestiging without buying the clicker upgrade is basically impossible so with that i feel like it's a good place to end off today's video if you guys enjoyed seeing me tamper with time leave a like leave a comment down below and as always i will see you guys next time Thank you.